Today I want to talk to you a bit about some of the implications of the movie Oppenheimer. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but we saw it recently, and it raised a lot of questions for me about whether or not physicists should be moral. Should they have a morality in what they're studying and experimenting with? I don't want to give away the whole story, but of course you probably know it's the, it's the story of J. Robert Oppenheimer, who was the father of the atomic bomb. He created a whole little village out in a deserted part of New Mexico called Los Alamos, where he and a batch of colleagues, I think there were about 3,000 of them ultimately, were there with government officials as well, trying to develop the atomic bomb. Now, it's easy for us now to say, well, that was completely immoral. Um, it killed about a quarter of a million people ultimately. But I guess going back to the time, we have to look at what was going on. Remember, Oppenheimer was a Jew. And at the time, not only was Nazi Germany trying to develop an atomic bomb too, and of course, the, it was the same country that was exterminating many fellow Jews. But also, as Oppenheimer knew, the Nazis had recruited Werner Heisenberg, the famous quantum physicist whom Oppenheimer knew and revered. And so from his point of view, it was a race. Have, let them have the bomb or we get it first. So that was probably the thinking behind it. It was a torturous decision, but he went ahead with it. But here's the issue. Once they did see what it could do, once they tested it out there in Los Alamos, he hoped it would never be used. He hoped they could use it somewhere like Los Alamos, let the Japanese see what they were doing and what they were capable of and stop war forever. By that time, the Nazis had been defeated, so they didn't need it for Germany. And there's a big argument they didn't need it for Japan too. But he had been working for the government. The government took that bomb. And of course, we know what happened. They dropped it on Hiroshima. And then three days later, before the Japanese responded, they dropped another bomb on Nagasaki. In total, as I say, a quarter of a million of innocent people, civilians, mothers, children, were killed instantly or soon after. So this weighed heavily on Oppenheimer afterward. He felt we never have to do this again. We've shown through this terrible thing, and he even quoted the Bhavad Gita saying, I am a destroyer of worlds. He felt we never have to do this again. It would end war. That was the thinking he had. So he took a position from the beginning, but it raises a bigger question. Should physicists and scientists be free to just explore in whatever uh, situation they have, looking freely at experimental results and not being inhibited by the use to which their findings will be put? Or do they have a moral obligation? And here's the interesting parallel Let's look at what happened with COVID. Many scientists weighed in with what we should be doing in terms of lockdown, in terms of vaccination, all sorts of decisions that were political. And the scientists themselves talked about what, this sh what we should be doing. And that actually orchestrated many of their experiments. So we now know that a number of those findings were wrong or were severely influenced by politics. Looking good, what the optics were, the rush to find a vaccine and more. 
So I'd love to hear your thoughts about whether or not physicists and scientists should just follow their experimental path, no matter where it's going to lead them, even if it blows up our paradigm, our current paradigm, which many of the scientists I've written about in the field, The Intention Experiment and my other books, they blew up the paradigm. They discovered a round peg that didn't fit into the square hole of modern science. So it's complicated. Should they be free to explore? Isn't that the way of the true explorer? And isn't it up to all of us to use their findings in a moral way? Or should it rest with them too? So this is a question I'm putting to you. Please feel free to write your comments in the comment section below and tell me what you think.